stupid idiot. That's out of order, mate. Bad naughty car. My siren, in case anybody needs me. Oh, come on. Well. The Ground Talk Game. Don't just watch us, be us. Hi guys, how are you doing? My name's Ben, I'm that bearded guy. And this week I've been playing the Grand Tour game for the Xbox One. In a revolutionary concept, Amazon Game Studios are releasing this modular racing sim game in line with each episode of the series. Thus far, I've only played episode one of each of the three series, so this is an initial thoughts review at this point only. So once the full game is released and all content is complete, then I'll do a follow-up review, so let's take a look for now. Three, two, one. I don't want to sound like you, but the launch control in this car is so complicated there's a YouTube video about it and I have watched it but I've forgotten. This Peggy 12 game puts you in the driving seat joined by Clarkson, Hammond and May as you complete the challenges featured in the show. The game features original voice acting by the team as you take to the technically challenging tracks featured in each weekly instalment and in the cars featured. Each scene is sandwiched between show content which blurs the lines between film and game content seamlessly. In actual fact, it occasionally becomes difficult to tell which is which. Three, two, one, fire out! Go. Challenges can include something as simple as track racing, drag racing, drifting and noise and smoke creation amongst many others. The controls are extremely basic, however that doesn't detract from the requirement to exercise skill and finesse when handling the vehicle. The graphics are surprisingly refined and are complemented with the show's typical impeccable cinematography and transitions. There are both single player and multiplayer split screen modes available as you go head to head against the presenters using collectible power ups to push the advantage. The Grand Prix mode gives you the option to choose a series of races tailored to whatever car category you desire. Go! So overall then, the game is really well polished and the voiceover acting from the cast really consolidates the show to the game. I'm really glad that they haven't attempted to recreate the cast using avatars and have instead opted for this hybrid of show meets game. Now the driving experience is exceptionally good, but for the majority of the game it seems to be just show content rather than actual gameplay, and what little gameplay there is can be somewhat repetitive as you do the same tracks and tasks but in a different vehicle. The game feels very stop-start with short duration gameplay followed by long periods of show content. Now it's all well and good that you can skip that, but for me, by comparison to other racing games, I feel that this one does somewhat lack substance. Oh, that's... <laughs> I can't see enough. a thing. Oh, God, I'm good at this as well. Is there anything I'm not good at? Uh, modesty. 